right, she'll be right here next. I'll be right here, and she'll be right here. And Josh will be announcing the name. Good afternoon, everyone. Please be seated. We're about to start. Good afternoon. I'll give you about five more minutes and then we will begin the celebration. Would all graduates please Take your seats. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I am Sandra Barnes, the CB Star Professor and current chair of the Department of Sociology. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the Department of Sociology here at Brown, I welcome our graduating students, their families and friends to this part of the Brown graduation ceremony. This is the 255th commencement at Brown University. The Department of Sociology observes this rich and festive tradition. The discipline of sociology first appeared in the Brown curriculum in 1891. The first sociology PhD was conferred in 1909, which reflects the long history and legacy of this discipline at Brown University. The famous politician, prime minister of India, and community servant Indira Gandhi once said, quote, nothing that is worthwhile is ever easy. Opportunities are not offered. They must be rested and worked for. And this calls for perseverance and courage." End quote. It is our hope that your time in the Department of Sociology represented an opportunity to work harder than you thought you could, persevere, and build the courage that you will need to make your own unique contributions to society. Please remember that an education is an ongoing, lifelong process. But what you have done here at Brown provides evidence that you are well on your way as leaders and community servants. Such education will enable you to serve as agents of change in the world and make every place you exit better than when you entered. I have complete confidence in your ability to do so. Today we celebrate this momentous milestone. Today we celebrate you. So let's continue the celebration. It is, 
please remember this is a celebration. <laughs> it is a pleasure to welcome to our department our corporation member, Joan Wernig Sorensen. Joan, a class of 1972 Brown graduate, has had a long career in development, alumni relations, and higher education administration. She has been a fundraising consultant to numerous nonprofit organizations, both in Providence, Rhode Island, and Deer Isle, Maine. Over the past 50 years, she has served in numerous volunteer roles. She is a member of the Brown Board of Fellows and previously served two terms on the Board of Trustees. Joan was a co-chair of the Brown Annual Fund, member of the Brown Alumni Association Board of Governors, regional chair of the Brown Alumni Schools Committee, and served as the first female president of the Brown Club of Rhode Island. Joan is currently the co-chair of Brown's $4 billion Brown Together Capital Campaign. She is one of a few alumni to receive the Elwood Leonard Award for Distinguished Achievement. In 2019, she received an honorary degree from Brown University. Joan, thank you so much for being here with us today. Would you please stand and let's give her a round of applause. I would now like to introduce my colleagues from the Department of Sociology who are here with us today. Will the members of the sociology faculty please stand as I call your name and please remain standing. Prudence Carter. Gregory Elliott. Nicole Gonzalez Van Cleve. Michael Kennedy. Jose Itzingson. David Lindstrom. Laura Lopez Saunders. Josh Pasevich. Emily Rauscher. Andrew Schrank, and Mary Wright. Let's give them a round of applause. You may be seated. I also want to introduce and thank the Department of Sociology staff for their tremendous assistance to the students graduating today and for making all the arrangements for this wonderful occasion. So if you're here st standing, wave your hand. If not, please stand. Mary Oliver. <laughs> Betsy Vajé. <laughs> and Monica Ladaika. Next, I'm pleased to make a special presentation on behalf of the Department of Sociology to Dr. Paget Henry. Professor Paget Henry officially joined Brown in July of 1987 and embarked on a prolific, distinguished career spanning more than 35 years. Paget has been an invaluable member both in the Department of Sociology and Africana Studies here at Brown. He has been an impressive researcher, teacher, advisor, and mentor to several generations of scholars and students around topics such as dependency theory, the Caribbean political economy, as well as race and ethnic relations. Paget's Vita lists more than 50 academic articles, essays, and reviews in sociological and cultural studies outlets. Several of Paget's essays have been reprinted in anthologies that document the best works in his field. Such honors are a testament to Paget's scholarly acumen. 
He is currently editor of the CLR James Journal and co-editor of the Routledge series Africana Thought. Pageant's academic efforts have also translated to student mentoring and advising at both the graduate and undergraduate levels. It is with deep appreciation and respect that we honor Dr. Paget Henry for his various contributions to the Department of Sociology. As he prepares to retire, we recognize and celebrate Paget's years of commitment to Brown University, as well as his significant academic contributions. Unfortunately, Paget could not be with us today. He is participating in the commencement ceremony in Africana Studies. However, we have a small token of appreciation that we will be sure he gets. Please give a round of applause for Professor Paget Henry. I will now turn the program over to Professor David Lindstrom, the Director of the Masters in Social Analysis and Research Program who will announce our Master of Science degree recipients. Their degrees were officially conferred at the graduate school commencement ceremony this morning. Now the Department of Sociology recognizes them and their accomplishments during this ceremony. David. Thank you very much, Sandra. The Masters of Science in Social Analysis and Research is a highly selective two-semester program. Students receive core training and advanced statistical methods for social and behavioral analysis and modeling and can choose from a range of courses in spatial analysis, advanced multivariate statistics, survey and market research, and qualitative research methods. Graduates of the program go on to careers in financial services and consulting market and survey research, and data analytics in clinical and research-related settings. At a reception on Friday afternoon, the MSAR graduates gave short presentations of applied research experiences that they acquired through coursework or internships in industry and faculty research projects. This year, we have 11 graduates receiving degrees. On behalf of the Department of Sociology, I want to congratulate the students on completing a very demanding and rigorous course of study. Based on the experiences of prior graduates of the program, who almost to a person have stayed in touch with us, with us I am confident that you will all go on to successful and satisfying careers. I also want to thank the parents and families of our students who have been pillars of support for them. Based on a careful analysis of the data, I can assure you that with high probability, your investment over the past year in this program will yield high future returns. As I read your name, I would ask the graduates to come up and receive a gift from the department. Jing Duan. Shuib El Hajaji in abstentia. Shinze Fan. <laughs> Yu Ning Liu. <laughs> Karthik Ramesh. <laughs> Kina Shi. Emma Toussanel. <laughs> Krista Wang. <laughs> Chu Han Wen, also an absentia. <laughs> Yiki Yao. Ching Zhao Seng. Okay. 
Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, David. I will now turn the program over to Professor Emily Rauscher, the Director of Graduate Studies, who will announce the master's degree recipients followed by the PhD recipients. Their degrees were officially conferred at the graduate school commencement ceremony this morning. Now the Department of Sociology recognizes them and their accomplishments in this ceremony. Emily. Thank you, Sandra. Today I have the privilege of recognizing our students receiving their MA and PhD in sociology. Four students enrolled in the PhD program have earned the degree Master of Arts in Sociology. This is a transitional degree, the first significant step to becoming a PhD. Over the past two years, they have mastered a wide range of methods, theories, and substantive areas of sociological research. They have also each produced a unique piece of research in the form of a master's thesis, and they have all gained invaluable experiences as research and teaching assistants. They are all well on their way to making unique and important contributions to the field of sociology. The students are not able to be here today, but we still want to celebrate their accomplishments. As I read out the names of each of our new Masters of Arts, I will read their thesis title to give you an idea of the impressive research they have completed. Daniel Kitson, Scientific Capacity in the U.S. Environmental State. Kara Lee Osborne, Repertoires of Engagement, The Case of South Africa's Special COVID Relief of Distress Grant. <laughs> Patrick England Shaw, Examining Child Separation in South Africa. <laughs> Liang Di Shu, Reviving Rails, The Case of the Salt Lake Region, 1992 to 2000. Congratulations to these master's degree recipients. And now, this year, we are celebrating six students who have earned doctoral degrees in sociology, the PhD, marking the end of the long road of graduate school and the beginnings of what we hope will be exciting and rewarding careers for each of you. <laughs> Our doctoral students have been with us a long time. They have laughed, cried, found lifelong friends and mentors, and probably found moldy leftovers in the Maxi Hall refrigerator. <laughs> but levity aside, the route to a PhD is a challenging and at times a frustrating one. Indeed, as one very famous sociologist once remarked, there is no royal road to science, and only those who do not dread the fatiguing climb of its steep paths have a chance of gaining its luminous summits. So for the friends and family who might have wondered what took so long, let me explain how difficult that road was. It has consisted of hours of coursework to gain deep skills and expertise in methods, theory, and substantive fields of knowledge, researching and writing a master's thesis, studying for and passing two preliminary exams that call for developing a mastery of subfields of the discipline, then developing and defending a dissertation project. Only at this point do our fearless climbers finally embark on the steep path they have been aiming for all along, the path of original research. And it is at this stage that our doctoral graduates have distinguished themselves. Writing a dissertation is all-consuming, and at its heart, it is about investigating and grappling with a specific social problem and developing not only expertise, but also a passion. That investigation can take many forms, from breaking down and making sense of massive data sets, <coughs> to conducting hundreds of hours of interviews, combing through dusty archives, and sitting through long community meetings. This work and passion have taken our new doctors from the inner dynamics of households to the historical complexities of international migration, from Bangladesh to Mexico and Europe. They have worked to understand adaptations to climate change, social roots of xenophobia, 
and mobility patterns across the Pacific. They have tackled core issues of class, racial, gender, and religious inequality, documented and analyzed struggles for social and climate justice, and helped us better understand the vast, complex, and often conflicted processes of social transformation that are driving the 21st century. Together with your families, friends, and mentors, I congratulate you on your tremendous accomplishment. As I read out the names of each of our new doctors of philosophy, I will also read the title of their dissertation to give you an idea of their work and achievements. I would ask the graduates to come up and receive a gift from the department. First, Dr. Amy Chin in absentia. Dr. Chin receives her PhD today for her dissertation entitled Visceral But Not Visible, Asian American Daughterly Caring Labor in Veteran Households. Dr. Chin is an assistant professor at Vassar College. Dr. Danielle Falzone in absentia. Dr. Falzone is also unable to join us today, but she is receiving her PhD for her dissertation entitled The Business of Adaptation, Reproducing Inequality in the Face of Climate Crisis. <laughs> Dr. Felzone is an assistant professor at Rutgers University, New Brunswick. Dr. Anaides Hernandez Habalera in absentia. Dr. Hernandez Habalera receives her PhD today for her dissertation entitled a life course approach to gender differences in work outcomes and occupational mobility in Mexico, the role of migration. <laughs> Dr. Tate Kihara in absentia. Dr. Kihara receives his PhD today for his dissertation entitled International Migration and Social Mobility Across the Pacific a historical analysis of the Japanese population in the continental United States. Dr. Kihara is a postdoctoral fellow at Japan Society for the Promotion of Science at the University of Tokyo, and in September he will begin working as an assistant professor at the Graduate School of Media and Governance, Keio University, Japan. <laughs> Dr. Svenja Kopicek. Dr. Kopicek receives her PhD today for her dissertation entitled Left-Wing Islamophobia, Anti-Muslim Attitudes and Discourse Among the Political Left. <laughs> Dr. Yifan Shen in absentia. Dr. Shen receives his PhD today for his dissertation entitled Bringing Oppenheimer Back, the continuing importance of Oppenheimer's family sociology for understanding the shifting economic organization of American families. Dr. Shen is an assistant professor at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Please give all of our graduate students a big round of applause. Thank you both David and Emily, and congratulations to all the students earning their graduate degrees today. I am very proud of you. We are very proud of you. Let's give them one more round of applause. I would now like to introduce Professor Josh Pasvich. Josh is the co-director of undergraduate studies and a critical member of our undergraduate concentration. Josh will now introduce students who are being awarded undergraduate degrees. Please note, this is the official Brown University ceremony for the awarding of undergraduate degrees. Thank you, Sandra, and good afternoon, everyone. It is my honor to recognize the students graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology and a Bachelor of Science in Social Analysis and Research. As co-director of undergraduate studies and the senior seminar instructor, 
I've enjoyed working with these graduates and learning more about their research interests as I advise them on their capstone projects and on their senior theses. They are a bright, engaged group, as you all know, and I have no doubt that they will bring their keen and critical insight into whatever endeavor they choose to pursue after graduation. I would also like to acknowledge all of the parents, family, and friends, both those who are with us today and those who could not attend. On behalf of the faculty, I thank you for the support and encouragement you have given our students and all the support and encouragement that I'm sure you will continue to provide them as they move out into the world. Several students graduating today have distinguished themselves and the department through their academic achievements. This year, seven students earned honors by writing theses. At this time, I would like to recognize our honors students in sociology. So I'll read their names in the title of their honors thesis. Could the following students please stand? Brandon Avendano, Racial Identification of Asian Latinos. <laughs> Alexander Avila, Digital Colonization in the Era of Pandemic Resistance. <laughs> Nia Callender, Justifying Brutality, Copaganda, Cultural Scripts, and the Toolkit to Rationalize Violence. Cleopatra El Rashidi, How Do We Relate? A Queer Sociological Analysis of Non-Traditional Relationships. <laughs> Catherine Malloy, Racialized Perceptions of Immigrants in Unsettled Times, Title 42 and the COVID-19 Pandemic. <laughs> Priscilla Oseas, Sexual Identity Formation Milestones Among Queer Youth, The Lens of Generation Z. And Rhythm Rastogi, to grow community ecosystems, how can ecological networks and ecosystems designs inspire sustainable community growth? So at this time, I'd like to ask if Alex and Brandon could remain standing. Each year, the sociology department recognizes students with outstanding research awards. This year, we awarded two, of, two for theses and one for a capstone project. So our two thesis awards go to Brandon Avendano and Alex Avia. Congratulations. <laughs> Additionally, I would like to recognize Mina Kao, who won the research award for a capstone project entitled, How Brown Influences the Race of Friends. Congratulations, please stand and be recognized. So at this time, I'm pleased to present the baccalaureate degrees. You guys can sit down. <laughs> Some of our students graduating with two concentrations have chosen to receive their diplomas at different departments or program ceremonies. Others could not be here today. I want to offer heartfelt congratulations in absentia to the following. Toby Arment. <laughs> Nia Che Callender. Aiden Littlewood. Maya Nana Sincom. Amy Fung Pham. Rhythm Rastogi. Mitsaya Schiller. Leah Margarita Navarro Tay. Amy Tabul. For those graduating with us today, when your name is called, please come forward to receive a diploma cover and briefly pause for a picture if you feel so inclined. Uh, just a reminder, the actual diplomas will be mailed to graduates. They are coming. They're just not here today. So let's begin with those receiving their Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. And Samina Blakely Atherton. Brandon Avedano. <laughs> Alex.
Alexander Santiago Avila. <laughs> you can stay for another picture if you want. To. <laughs> Hannah Dunn. Cleopatra El Rashidi. <laughs> Alexandra Elizabeth Herrera. Nadine Ibrahim. <laughs> Destiny Denise Jones. Jones Allen. <laughs> Nina Cow. Catherine Malloy. <laughs> Elena Nussbaum Cohen. <laughs> Priscilla Oseas. <laughs> Francesca Rao E. Listen. Jessica Sines Gomez. Gabrielle Smith. <laughs> Julie Sykes. Teresa Nicole Wagner. <laughs> Woo! 
Miller Thomas White. You know, <laughs> that's not my fault. Uh, and now those receiving their Bachelor of Science in Social Analysis and Research. Sophie Elwin. And last but not least, Ruth Schlenker. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> That's the idea, right? And that concludes our list of undergraduates completing their degrees. You have earned its rights, honors, and responsibilities. Congratulations. Please give them and all who supported them a big round of applause. Josh. This concludes the Department of Sociology ceremonies at the 2023 commencement of Brown University. Um, let's please give all of our graduates a round of applause. Thank you all for attending this happy occasion. Take care and have a great afternoon.